Yeah, we're drawing about 1.1 amps, which is definitely excessive. Alright, and today we have another PSP street model. Up until this point, I thought these models were only black, so when I seen an individual out of Italy selling a defective white one, I had to jump on the opportunity. And jumping straight into testing, let's check for some power. Having no charge power draw. And to no surprise, the power button's doing nothing. So let's get this thing open. I've demonstrated this in a prior video, so I'll just breeze through it now. And right away, let's check the continuity on this fuse. And it's definitely blown, so let's continue disassembly. And there's the board out. Using an external power supply, I can apply my 5 volts and watch the current draw while I bypass the blown fuse. Yeah, we're drawing about 1.1 amps, which is definitely excessive. Alright, with that level of amperage, something has to be shorting and getting very toasty. I don't have a thermal camera, but I do have isopropyl alcohol and it's not conductive, so it should cook off. And of course this nemesis of an IC looks like the toasty culprit. I know some components sit underneath, so I'm going to remove this shielding to test them. And of course, it looks like the die itself is the problem. It's a bit of deja vu, but let's remove this IC. I've already got a donor on hand and ready to go, so I'm just going to plop this sucker straight in. Cleaning up the residual flux, and it's installed. And since we're here, why not replace the blown fuse? I don't have a good alternative to avoid toasting the charge port though. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the new one. Checking continuity through the fuse looks good. 
And to clarify or remind, my donor parts come from a TA-095 board that's in a PSP-3000. It's the only one I know of that has its exact IC and I can't find a supplier for the chip either. This board also conveniently has the same fuse. And let's check. That's awesome, this thing is alive. It leads me to believe I was on the correct uh, path with the previous video, but I must have made a mistake somewhere. And to finish up, that was the repair of a PSP Street that had no sign of life. If you happen to watch my other PSP Street video that had a similar issue, then you can probably guess oh, I'm going to have to revisit that one. So subscribe if you want to see that. If you just enjoy content like this on various electronics across the board, then I hope you'll join me on the next one.